that the audience mute the phones. Thank you. which remains on the United States control. Here to lead us in singing La Borinqueña is Miss Olga Cuevas, our English as a second language and Spanish teacher. Please welcome to the stage Olga Cuevas. Audience and graduates, please rise 
in solidarity with Puerto Rico. Despierta borinqueño que han dado la señal Despierta de ese sueño que es hora de luchar A ese llamar patriótico no arde tu corazón De no será simpático el ruido del caño, nosotros queremos la libertad, nuestro machete nos la dará. Vámonos, borinqueños, vámonos ya, que nos espera ansiosa, ansiosa la libertad, la libertad. lift every voice and sing has held a powerful place in black history. The hymn is known as the Black National Anthem, but it's more than that. It is a history lesson, a rallying cry, a pledge of unity, and a reminder that people must gather to fight for equality and justice. It is an ever-present theme to living a life of solidarity. In a world filled with injustices that our students and our families face daily, we remind them the joy in the struggle. Ms. Audrey Adams is our English teacher. She will be performing the Black National Anthem, lift every voice and sing. Please rise in solidarity with our black brothers and sisters. Good afternoon. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven rings ring with the harmonies of liberty let our rejoicing rise as high as the listening skies let it resound as loud as the rolling sea Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of a new day begun, let us march on, let us march on till victory is won. You may be seated. Today I will be introducing a distinguished graduate of the, of the class of 2024, Darius Marlowe. His spirit and energy has given us inspiration, joy, and he will truly be missed. We proudly welcome him to the stage to perform a poem on behalf of the graduating class of 2024. Oh, oh 
Okay, so I wrote this poem for you guys today, and I would like to read it for you. Where there are dreams, you'll find your calling in the day. If you have hope to excel, you'll always find another way. Move at your pace, prove your worth, you did that. You went through that extra mile, so just look where we are today. I know that our teachers are so proud. I just want to say, mama, look at me, I made it. Congra now, congratulations to the grads for this achievement. May you find new roads to succeed in. Omaris Falou is a graduate and one of our leading scholars. She's a light for all the staff and students. Please help me welcome Omaris, Omaris Falou to give a graduation message from our graduates. Good afternoon, staff, staff, students, and parents. When I think about what's important, the first thing that comes to mind is my family. My family is my comfort zone, my backbone. Without them, I wouldn't be able to reach my goals. Family is where all support is, where people can be heard and not judged, and can always express themselves even if it's in a negative way. When I first started high school, I never thought I would feel accepted or included. My, high school ex my first high school experience was horrible. I never felt like I was heard. Once I left to, came to come to college, it was a completely different experience. I felt like I was a part of the family. Dr. Lewis gives support like my mother. Helena lets me open up like I'm talking to my big sisters. Rafa for being there like the uncle I wish I had. Campos will always be there for us and continue to be like a family for the rest of our lives. We are always told we are welcome back whenever, and I truly believe that from them. We will always be a part of a big giant family that made memories that will last a lifetime. For the last 20 plus years, Crystal has been a pitiful member of the Arbizu Campo staff, dedicating herself to mentoring our youth in various roles. Now serving as our dean, Crystal has worked tirelessly to maintain and honor the traditions that make our campus unique. Please join me in welcoming Crystal as she facilitates the passing of the machete, a symbol of our shared heritage and commitment to excellence. Good afternoon, everyone. In many cultures around the world, the machete is a symbol of life-sustaining force a symbol that we live and help live, a symbol for us that our youth sustain our school, that our youth have immense power. Help me welcome the rising class of 2025 to the stage as they receive the machete. Omaris. Please welcome Olivia, Don Benair, and Blanco to the stage. on the streets with Opportunity Youth, developing relationships, building trust, 
and mentoring them to live their old ways and make better choices. He has invested countless hours of heartfelt effort immersed in what is essentially a life-saving mission. He has dedicated the better part of his adult life to helping long-term offenders prepare for a meaningful life outside of prison, mentoring gang-involved youth to take a different path in life, avoiding the mistakes he made. He's truly a testament to the power of healing. He has dedicated his life to conducting workshops for prisoners who are about to be released and working for organizations performing interventions and helping families who have lost children to violence. Please help me welcome, with a big round of applause, our keynote speaker, Mr. Cerda, as he shares his unique insights and perspective. Good afternoon, Aviso Campo faculty members, family members, community supporters, and a very good morning to you graduates of 2024. I am so grateful and honored that our esteemed principal, Dr. Melissa Lewis, asked if I would be a keynote speaker at this most prestigious and pivotal moment in your lives. So thank you, Dr. Lewis, for this gracious opportunity. Gracias. Graduates of 2024, your commitment and dedication have come to fruition. You have overcome your challenges and for some, your fears. You have achieved what you have envisioned. You are now high school graduates of 2024. You've done it and made it. Congratulations. <laughs> Faculty members, family, friends, and community supporters, can you please rise and let's give our 2024 graduates a very heartfelt standing ovation for their commitment, their hard work, and for all the coming challenges in their Thank you. I think it is important to not only acknowledge this amazing milestone in your lives, but to also acknowledge the perseverance it took to overcome and manage the added pressures of our environment and its effect, such as continuous being faced with loss, the threat of violence, carrying the weight of every social post reporting another tragedy, and as such. Overcoming these challenges and staying focused on achieving your diploma is a true testament to your character and spirit. I invite you, I invite you all to take a moment to reflect on what got you through these moments. Perseverance, grit, determination, and resilience are now your tools for facing and overcoming the many challenges and obstacles that you will encounter in life's journey. Please don't ever hesitate to utilize your tools for accomplishing your goals, because these very same tools that you have acquired will be the tools that you will need throughout your life in reaching your goals that you set forth for yourself. Remember these things because your journey is not over. In fact, it's about to get exciting. But keep this in mind. Life is a series of accomplishments as we continuously learn to grow. But I also believe that we grow as we overcome our obstacles in life because, because then a new level of awareness and confidence opens up to us that can say, hey, I can accomplish anything. I'm a 2024 graduate from Avisu Campus. There will be times, however, that you may feel that you are failing. And it is in those times that you do a self-inventory of your inner strengths and tools that you've developed from your past accomplishments to take care of that business. 
One of the common challenges that we all face in trying to figure out our life is what we want to do. Well, I'll tell you, young adults are not the only ones facing this dilemma. I know some adults are still trying to figure it out. But what I've learned and come to understand is that we are all born with a pot of gold. Yes, we all have a pot of gold. I know some of y'all may be saying, okay, we'll run it. <laughs> but let me share this with you. Our pot of gold resides in our passion. That's right, our passion. Instead of trying to figure out what we want, what we need to do, we need to ask ourselves what will make us happy. What will make us complete? What is it that I would love to do every day or what contribution would I love to give this world? These answers can only be found in the content of your character and in the realm of your spirit. To tap into that energy, there must be a oneness with mind and spirit. Within that energy, all answers and solutions are found. No matter where you go in life, always remember where you came from and also Never forget that you will always have a community that acknowledges you, embraces you, supports you, and respects you. Lastly, I would like to take this time out to acknowledge and commend the parents, the grandparents, family members, the entire school faculty, counselors and mentors, and community organizations that have supported and contributed to the success of these shining graduates. We thank you for a job well done. And I personally, as well as the Humble Park community, are truly gave, grateful to you for supporting and empowering our future leaders. Graduates of 2024, celebrate every success and continue to persevere. You never know what you can achieve until you try. For instance, who would have known that in March of 2021, Governor Prisker would appoint me to the Illinois Prisoner Review Board? the first returning citizen in the United States to ever sit on a prisoner review board. For those who may not fully understand what a prisoner review board is or does, in short, the prison review board is a non-judicial proceeding which can interpret law and make recommendations to the governors on decisions already made by the court. In other words, the prisoner review board hears clemency from individuals that are incarcerated seeking release or commutation of sentence based on rehabilitation and remorse. That is a very prestigious and important responsibility that I took seriously and I served with integrity and objectivity. Nor would I have ever imagined, especially as a young blood coming up in Humble Park, that the Department of State and the U.S. Embassy of Mexico was sent me to Mexico as a U.S. speaker consecutively for four years from 2008 to 2012 to do workshop with youths on community violence all over Mexico. And thank you. And I sure, and I surely would have never imagined that I would dedicate myself and my life to restorative justice, community peace, and youth empowerment when I was a young and confused broken kid. You see, at the age of 16, I was ambushed, my brother and I were ambushed in his car. He sustained 13 shots that ended his life. He took his last breath, squeezing my left thumb as I held him. As a broken and traumatized 16-year-old without the right guidance, I participated in a retaliatory act that I sincerely regret to this day. And not just because I'm standing in front of you, but because I live with it every day. My remorse is my healing. I received a 35-year sentence as an adult, which I served 19 years from the age of 16 to the age of 35. So you see, it's not how the story begins or why, but what it leads to and the legacy we eventually leave behind. All things are possible with dedication, fortitude, and tenacity just as you have demonstrated in graduating. As the old saying goes, what the mind can conceive, one can achieve. All we have to do is believe. Well, congratulations. Graduates of 2024, you truly earned this moment. I hope you are as proud of yourself as we are of you. We look forward to see what else you will achieve. Power to the people. Please help me 
welcome Jaime Moctezuma, who will be presenting awards to students, parents, and partners. He's the patient experience officer at Humble Park Health and serves on the board of directors of Dr. Pedro Albizu Campos High School and the National Puerto Rican Museum. Please help me welcome Jaime Montezuma. Un segundito. All right, good afternoon, everyone. I am proud to present the awards for the outstanding student achievements. So the following graduates are the top 10 highest ranking class members, thus receiving academic honors. So please stand to be acknowledged. Damon Revels. Evelyn Cusco. Gloria Naula. Evelyn Cordon. Exodus Alejandro. Omaris Falu. Marquita Thomas, Raymond Brown, Jamie Lopez, and Nico Woods. Thank you. We have been very fortunate to be invited to participate in our fourth dual enrollment program in partnership with Northeastern Illinois University. The NEIU dual enrollment cohorts allows high school seniors an opportunity to earn college credits alongside scholars from neighboring community schools. The following graduate has earned three college credit hours this semester. So please stand to be acknowledged, Angel Mohan. to have a dedicated mentor, a dedicated mentor, and provides them with post-secondary support and job readiness training. The following students should stand up to be recognized. Tarek Medina. Darius Marlowe. Naylan Harris. <laughs> Isabella Herrera. <laughs> Exodus Alejandro. <laughs> Mika Woods. <laughs> Celia Santiago. Franco Roman and Angel Monhead. Thank you all. The Julio Cortez Persistent Award for Achieving Outstanding Attendance. This goes to two of our graduates, Raymond Brown and Marquita Thomas. Thank you. 
Okay, now we keep on going here. The Mariano del Valle Community Activism Balande Award for dedicated efforts toward improving our community through participation in activities and events. This goes to Mr. Angel Mohan. <laughs> the Ima Romano Metamorphosis Award for creating personal change while overcoming obstacles in order to become a new and improved scholar, Mr. Darnell Davis. The Step Up Award for demonstrating significant academic progress over the course of the school year, Jamie Lopez. The Achievement in Arts Award for significant contributions in the arts in the school community, Celia Santiago. La Lucha Lolita Lebron Award for demonstrating continued preservance, preservance and self-determination as a youth parent, Kevin Hernandez, Jada Morales, and Ayala Parks. All right, so this year we'd like to recognize an exceptional community partner with the Don Antonio Correpel Award. And the community partner who will be honored is Ezra, Sandrit, Ezra Sergeant Leventhal, Post Secondary Navigator for the City Schools, the City Colleges of Chicago. exceptional care to not only their own children but to our school their dedication love and support for all the scholars on this stage is immense we present the parent involvement awards to the following mother and their remarkable commit for their remarkable commitment to their children and their academic careers so please stand as I call your name Maria Fuentes the mother of We need more parents like Maria, absolutely. Next, I'm excited to invite our coach and teacher, Jordan Wilkins, to the stage to present the senior jerseys to the seniors on the 2023-2024 basketball team.
Okay, so our next speaker has quietly captured our hearts and minds during her time with us. Please welcome Gloria Naula, a graduate of the class of 2024 with a message to our parents in Spanish. Buenas tardes con todos los presentes, padres, maestros, invitados especiales. Primeramente quiero agradecer a la Escuela Dr. Pedro Alviso Campos por haberme dado la oportunidad de terminar mis estudios, por darme todo el apoyo y el cariño que me han brindado. En realidad es una escuela que nos hace sentir como una familia, nos hace sentir seguros, amados. Bien como dicen, la escuela es como un segundo hogar. Y esta escuela ha sido para mí. Agradezco a mis maestros por haberme ayudado todo este trayecto de mi estudio. Todos ellos iluminaron mi camino y lo enderezaron para que pudiera seguir adelante. Y de todo corazón a todos ustedes, maestros, les agradezco por siempre estar ahí. Queridos graduados, en este día de celebración y logros, los invito a recordar que el éxito no se mide solo por los títulos que recibimos, sino por las lecciones que aprendemos y las huellas que dejamos en el mundo. Hoy están frente a un abanico de oportunidades y desafíos que los llevarán a descubrir su verdadero potencial. Recuerden que la perseverancia, la pasión, la determinación son las llaves que abrirán las puertas hacia un futuro brillante y lleno de posibilidades. A medida que avancen en sus caminos, no teman enfrentar los obstáculos, ya que son pruebas que los fortalecerán y los guiarán hacia el crecimiento personal y profesional. Mantengan viva la llama de la curiosidad, la empatía, la valentía que los ha llevado hasta el momento y verán cómo el mundo se abre ante ustedes. Cada uno de ustedes tiene un do único para ofrecer al mundo. Aprovechen su talento, sueñen a lo grande, nunca dejen de creer en ustedes mismos, sean audaces en la búsqueda de sueños, abracen la diversidad y conviértanse en agentes de cambio positivo en comunidades y en el mundo. En este día de graduación, recuerden que el verdadero éxito no es solo malestar una meta, sino disfrutar del viaje que nos lleva hasta ella. Celebren sus logros, aprendan de sus fracasos y sigan adelante con la confianza que son capaces de alcanzar cualquier meta que se propongan. Felicitaciones graduados, el mundo está lleno de posibilidades, esperen ser descubiertas por ustedes. Quiero agradecer infinitamente a mis padres, Nelson Naula, Chanet Morocho. Desde el primer día habían sido mi fuente de inspiración y mi roca sólida en tiempo de dificultad y mi guía en el camino hacia el éxito. Sus palabras de aliento, sus abrazos reconfortantes y su infinita paciencia ha sido el motor que me impulsó a seguir adelante y alcanzar mis metas. Gracias por ser mi pilar, por creer en mí, incluso cuando yo misma dudaba de mis propias capacidades por enseñarme el valor del trabajo duro y la oportunidad de perseguir mis sueños. No hay palabras suficientes para expresar cuánto significan para mí y cuánto les agradezco por ser los mejores padres que podría haber deseado. También quiero agradecer a mi maestro José Navarro que ahora no se encuentra aquí, pero él también fue una de las personas que más me apoyó en este trayecto de la escuela. Él ha sido un pilar fundamental en el cual yo estoy aquí. Profesor José Navarro, donde quiera que esté, lo dando un abrazo y muchas gracias por ser como fue conmigo. Queridos compañeros graduados, deseo que cada paseo que den les acerque más a sus sueños y les recuerde lo increíble que son. Adelante con valentía y determinación. Es que espero que podamos llegar a decir que nos amamos a nosotros mismos por lo que somos, por lo que fuimos y por lo que esperamos llegar a ser. Por último, pero no menos importante, quiero agradecerme a mí por creer en mí, por hacer todo ese trabajo duro y dar lo mejor de mí. Felicitaciones a todos. Gracias. And now, please help me welcome our fearless leader. Our principal, Dr. Melissa Lewis. <laughs> Melissa is a lifelong community member of Humboldt Park, wife and mother of two. She knows firsthand the difference a quality education can make in the lives of young people. She has empowered her staff to optimize their expertise to service young people. We are honored to have a principal that believes that community schools must use education to build, uplift, and sustain our community from within. Please help me welcome Dr. Melissa Lewis.
Hello, everyone. I thank everyone in this room for giving me the opportunity to serve this community, this school, these families, and most importantly, these young people. This is an important moment in your life. This ritual is designed to mark an occasion that you get to share with those who you know the best and who know you the best, your families, your friends, and of course, your teachers. This afternoon, together, we will celebrate each of you and your accomplishments and also celebrate our connection, that connection to one another and to everyone in this room. I hope that in your life's journey, that you will fill it with people like me, proud of you for exactly who you are in each moment that will make up your life. The days you failed will probably feel like the hardest, but let me assure you, the most difficult and important times are those when you are bold enough to believe in what is right for you. The most difficult moments are those that require you to take action on your hopes and dreams, the ones you have for yourself. My hope for you is that you come more and more to know yourself, to love yourself, to honor who you are, knowing that you will never be as perfect or as flawed as you or anyone else may think. Learn something new about yourself. Spend time investing in your healing. Connect with people you don't think you have anything in common with. My hope for you is that you see yourself as extraordinary and worthy. My hope is that you dream and lay a plan for your future. Be bold in those dreams. Celebrate the wins. Learn from the losses. Lean on the family and friends you have in your life. Remember that you will always have a home with us. You will always have a home with me. Congratulations. God bless my babies. I would like to call Helena Laverick to the podium as she will announce our graduates. We are not your average high school graduation. We want to hear all the applause and love that you have for our youth. They deserve it.